welcome back to the channel today we're once again looking at sniper elite 4 versus ghost warrior 3 i did a video of this while back it was done using sniper elite 3 gameplay and it was information based on what we knew at the time before both games released now both sniper elite 4 has been out for a long time and ghost war has been out for i think it's been roughly a month so i really just tend to do comparison based on that like i haven't admittedly i haven't played much of the sniper not the sniper yeah the sniper ghost warrior 3 game because it's i i, I want to get into it but it like I'm doing a lot of videos, trying to play a lot of different games. It's just not grabbing me. The old ones somewhat grabbed me, but this one is not grabbing me as much. Like I still love this series, but I do have my qualms about this game. So the first thing we're looking at is kind of a uh, preference thing, whereas it's setting like basically breaks down to you do you want to be world war ii italy or modern day georgia it's kind of what it is now this means you got time period weapons that you got to consider so that may be something also you consider if you're looking for like you want to get one or the other is the uh sniper ghost wears more modern weapons but so far it's kind of what you see is what you get whereas Sniper Elite is has been releasing more weapons and on the subject of weapons we go to getting the gears now the DLC on Sniper Elite 4 I believe you get right off the bat you don't have to purchase it and the ones that come with the game the guns supply and supplies are purchased using currency earned by doing the missions and the um, upgrades like the scope and the whatnot are all based on completing objectives like recoil damage and whatnot are all there's a task that needs to be done before you can do that well before you get it can't find anything else and like it has a master skin that you can unlock now for ghost war 3 i'm not quite sure if it's task based or mission based as to how you unlock the uh weapons because it just says locked you've either well it, they're like if it's locked it says locked if it's not locked it says a price and like i said I, i'm only well, you'll see in the gameplay only like a couple missions in at best and I'm hoping there's gonna be two bows because part of the uh, DLC season pass stuff was a bow well I see a bow hidden in the lock section of the assault rifles and if that was the DLC I would hope they wouldn't lock that on us because that's kind of messed up and I'm hoping that every version they sell is a season pass because it kind of like this may be wrong but it seems right now the only vehicle I can get into is my DLC buggy and it's like, so if that's not there if you don't have the ability to fast travel then you, you got a long walk ahead of you and well i didn't put it on my list but it will tie into the one below so we're going to talk about loading time sniper elite three no not three sorry four i'm pretty sure there's a loading time there but it feels like it is hidden behind the cutscene like you watch the cutscene and it'll load whereas sniper ghost warrior three has a fairly long load time at the beginning of the game it's equal to 
or more of a load time than say GTA Online which I don't quite grasp as GTA Line Online is I would say at least twice as big just ballparking it and a lot more densely populated not only with AI but with structures so it's kind of wonder well why is it so long now as I said I would tie into the next part which is the map size now Sniper Elite 4 is technically linear but it's also technically a s open world so I'm classifying it as a small open world because like there is some open worldness to it but it's not one cohesive open world so it's not a tr true open world game if you can if you get what I mean like it's not go here then go there then go there it's well okay this is my primary objective but these are my side objectives how do I want to attack this and then set a waypoint and go there and then knock off your objectives whereas Ghost War 3 is an open world but I do feel kind of like they put stuff places where they're like, yeah, this is where we want you to go type deal. Like, if you're going to snipe, well, then here's your your path. Like, in the video you're going to see, it's like, all right, here's your path if you want to snipe. But if you want to do the assault rifle, right here's your other path. I don't know if I go in strictly with the, p the pistol on it, but it definitely does feel open world in large but kind of linear on when you focus in now as far as the online goes there's a few maps and modes with sniper elite 4 including co-op but and i think in this game co-op is not mandatory like for to get 100 percent, i don't think you have to do the co-op but so nice to do and Ghost Warrior 3 surprisingly did not launch with multiplayer which is odd because the season passes multiplayer to come with the um season pass so it's like well why don't you launch with it because well Sniper Elite 2 wasn't quite that but Sniper Elite is like a community like I had people that I played to with on a very regular basis and like the, there wasn't many trophies but there was trophies related to it yeah admittedly Sniper Elite 2 multiplayer is all that stood between me and the Platinum because it was ranked matches that were trophies and everybody's playing non-ranked so I didn't get those trophies but I did get the 100% in the first game and it was my first 100% and like I was so proud, it was like I was playing with people and like by the time I got to 100 I was playing with at least a couple of people on a regular basis I'm like dude I'm three shots away from it oh man dude I'm almost there like boom headshot got that platinum type deal so it sucks that it didn't launch because I because I, I feel it could be a great community and let's see for the uh, kill cams the Sniper Elite 4 has improved upon it. Like, there's now the shrapnel kill cams and the brain mushing about stuff. So, they definitely improved upon it. Whereas, Sniper Ghost Wars appears to have taken away from it. Now, I, I, the trailer showed. A guy's head bursting apart maybe that's the explosive round or a high caliber round but right now I'm just getting a mid-air bullet trace to the target and the tar target getting hit that's it like one of my the things I liked about the series was in the previous games you got a headshot it shows the bullet leaving the barrel it shows it flying through the air and then it shows the x-ray and it's like, it, it's not as gruesome as 
Sniper Elite 4, but it's a, it's a cool aspect of it, and it sucks that they took that out. Now, Sniper Ghost Warrior does have a couple things that swing in its favor, and one of those would be vehicles. Because by my best guesstimate, you can't drive any of the vehicles in Sniper Elite 4, which is kind of sucks. It's like, give us a roadkill trophy type deal. And it just... is one of those things where there's mobile vehicles and yet I can't get behind the wheel. Like, why is that type deal? And... Uh... As I said before, Sniper Ghost War does have the buggy that you can drive, but I don't know if you can drive any of the other vehicles yet. Like, you may be able to, there may be a lockpick thing, because like, in the mission that I did in this video, it was a uh, locked vehicle. And on to my final point, which is silenced weapon. Now, in Sniper Elite 4, some of the... Uh, DLC did, does come suppressed. Like, I don't. The, well, the wall rod always is suppressed and it always comes with the game. That's kind of like your suppressed weapon. And the. Um, I switched to the other suppressed pistol that comes with the DLC because I like it. But. And it, I don't quite get this. Non-suppressed weapons can get suppressed, suppressed ammo, but it's a suppressed ammo. Like it just—it's mind baffling. I can understand needing to get suppressors. Like do that, okay. But have it be a degrading thing. Like if that's what you want to do, not have it be always attached. Have it degrade and have to be replaced with a new one. Don't give special weapon because it's kind of to me it's like well why does it need special weapon to go through that suppressor it doesn't make sense to me and sniper ghost war 3 being modern yes it has the uh suppressed ammo so i hope you guys did enjoy this video comment down below either which one you like the most or which one you'd like to see more on the channel so i always did like this video and i will see you guys next time thank you for watching uh, and don't forget tomorrow's live stream is nascar heat evolution dega manual wheel manual doesn't play much in effect but interesting with the wheel so i guess you hope you guys do turn in for that and like I said before, thank you for watching. I appreciate it, all you guys that watch. And I hope you guys continue to watch.